Paddington Japa Japa, a political bootlicker and political prostitute, was this week sentenced to two years in prison after the High Court denied his request to have his conviction and sentence for inciting public disorder during the announcement of the results of the August 2018 elections overturned. Japa Japa launched into a rant in which he criticized the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's CC election results and threatened to declare pandemonium in the nation. His statements were viewed by the state as incendiary, which resulted in his detention and prosecution. He was found guilty of violating the nation's electoral laws and sentenced to three years in prison, with the first year suspended if he behaved well following his release. Gift Mutasai, who represented Japa Japa, made an appeal to the High Court. Japa Japa's appeal was denied on Monday by a two-judge panel consisting of Justice Felistus Chaudhukukuta, a former judge of the High Court, and Justice Pizarei Quenda. Judge Quenda dismissed the appeal and immediately took Japa Japa into custody to begin serving his sentence. Judge Quenda denied the appeal, stating that there was insufficient justification for the High Court to overrule the trial magistrate's judgment. Japa Japa was seen on camera addressing listeners outside of the frame while acting as an election observer while he was in the National Command Center at the Harare International Conference Center. On the online service YouTube, the video clip was posted. Japapa confirmed that he was in the video even though he had disputed the accusation against him during the trial. However, he denied uttering the statements that were ascribed to him and attempted to refute the notion that the state had photoshopped the film. But following a thorough trial, the trial magistrate decided that the state may rely on the court-produced video clip since it was genuine and believable. On appeal, the High Court observed that Japa Japa's testimony was so riddled with inconsistencies that the court should have accepted the trial magistrate's judgment. The judges took note of Japa Japa's initial denial of making the statements attributed to him, saying they were inserted as voiceover to his photo that the state had altered to make it appear as though he had spoken at a news conference and uttered the statements. All of that changed after his conviction, when he admitted in mitigation that the remarks he used to support the charge were spoken. As a result of temptation and mental stress, he attempted to argue that the fact that he gave into temptation and the environment around him lessened his moral blameworthiness. It doesn't make sense that the appellant would initially deny making the inciting remarks and then later agree to uttering them, although unintentionally. Judge Quenda ruled that the appeal against the conviction was without merit and that he either said the words or he did not. When it came to the punishment, Japa Japa asked the court to substitute one at its discretion rather than advancing specific charges of a misdirection that the sentence caused a sense of shock. The trial court's approach to the sentence problem was thus not misguided, according to the court. According to Justice Quenda, the trial court decided for incarceration because it was of the opinion that the appellant's words had a strong influence on the disruptions that happened on the day after his inflammatory statements. The judge remarked that Japa Japa was a senior member of the MDC Alliance at the time and should have known that his statements would have a significant effect on his flock given the scale and nature of the disturbances. Japa Japa was authorized to observe elections, according to Harare Magistrate Mrs. Lermore Mapai's decision at the trial court, but he instead interfered with the announcement of results. The trial court was informed that on July 31st, Japa Japa called for disorder during a press conference as ZC was announcing the election results and claimed that the vote had been rigged. As a result of Japa Japa's instigation, NBC Alliance supporters forcefully invaded the city's central business district in protest, causing property damage.